yeah, we'd obviously like to think we can. Uh, losing three out of three is, is not ideal um, by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, you know, we pretty much have it all to do now. We we work it out as probably winning six out of seven at the very least to have a chance. Uh, last year we won five and, and, and had a rain out, so that's how we got through last year. So certainly there's a chance, but under a bit of pressure, yeah, with the seven games that are left. Yeah, at the moment things well, it, it hasn't gone away. You know, I think the first two games. We were in positions, in positions where we should have won the game. Uh, the last game we were outplayed against the Dolphins. Um, but it's, it's small things, you know. It's the case of putting um, all three uh, parts of the game put together. Um, we've been good in certain certain stages of, of, of all the games, basically. Uh, sometimes we were good at the back end or in the middle. Um, but there's a lot of things we can still work on. Uh, we need to, to, I think most of the teams, they're getting big runs against us in the first six overs. So we need to start to, to look to take wickets and, and keep the, the, the rate down a bit there. When you're chasing uh, scores of 200, 180 and 190, you know, you, it's, a, it's a 1 in 10 victory, probably 1 in 20 more, more yeah. like. So, so it's hard to judge a batting lineup when you're chasing big titles all the time. Um, batted well against the Cobras and then not so well the other two times. But again, it's, it's generally a, a result of having to chase down big totals. You know, as I said, you either get close or, or you don't. And, and that's the way it, it panned out in the last two games. So. Uh, the, the first six overs is, where the ball is the area probably that we need to improve the most. Uh, I think our death's been outstanding in the last two games uh, and that's something we paid specific attention to improving. So it would be great if, uh, you know, if once, one, we got to bat first or, or got to chase a total in, in and around the 150, around 160 mark and then see where we go from there. You know? Yeah, it's always big blows um, to, to, to not have guys like Farhan and, and Marshant available for you. But well done to them, you know, they've been really good for, for the Titans and um, over the last uh, two months and over the last two years. So it's great to have them back in the national team. You're obviously going to miss them because they offer a lot, but it's, it's, it's an opportunity for younger players to step up. The next game is Friday against the Knights in, in Bloemfontein. Obviously, we know what they, they, they're on a, on, a, on a big high, you know. Uh, they almost won again the other day as well, which where they would have won all the games three out of three or something like that. Um, so they, they, they can't finish riding high. We know what we, we can do, what we're capable of. Uh, it's just a case of putting all that stuff together and go out and execute on Friday. So I'm still fairly positive, you know, the guys are bat eating the ball well, the bowlers are getting the confidence back again. So it's just a small part of our game we, we, we need to adjust and, and rectify, then it would be great. Yeah, I think we've got a, a good idea. They're playing pretty good cricket at the moment, uh, you know, a couple of wins and a tie, you know. So, so they, they're certainly on a roll, more of a roll than we are. Um, but again, I always believe that if the Titans put on the performance that they can, that they'll be close to winning each game that they play. So, you know, I still believe in the players uh, and I still believe in their potential as a team. And that hasn't changed. And, and I know that our, our victory and our momentum is just around the corner.